Hi babes, hi, good morning. So today I wanted to come on here and very quickly show you guys how I package and ship my others or order in this case because it's just one order that I'm going to be packaging today using my new website. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys some weeks or some months back that I was going to be moving from Shopify to Big Cartel. And um, let me know if you want me to do an experience video, <laughs> you know, telling you what the difference between Shopify and Big Cartel is, having used them both. Um, for a couple of months each so um, back to our video so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to ship your orders using big cartel I'm going to be explaining it as detailed as I can possibly make it I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep and how I package and create shipping labels using big cartel using pirate ship on big cartel so if you want to watch that video and you're interested or you just started your business and you're trying to figure out how to ship out packages using your big cartel website then I'm your plug stick around and i'll be right back to show you guys what and how we're gonna get started so to start off what i like to do first is use wipes this so i use this to clean my work area even though i cleaned it yesterday before i went to bed but i always just clean so i don't transfer germs from my table to my customers order so one question that a lot of people also ask is how do they get paid on um, B Cartel? So basically, on B Cartel, there are two payment platforms. So either you either get paid using Stripe or you either get paid using PayPal. If you're just starting out, I don't know, when I started out and I was using PayPal, PayPal was giving me all kinds of issues. And um, it's not also good for sellers because people always get like a lot of chargebacks on PayPal. So I don't have no experience any chargeback on PayPal, but it did give me a lot of issues. It took a while for my money to get to me about like maybe three weeks or something. It was really insane. And they were asking me to do this in order to do that. It was just very crazy. But Stripe, I, I just like Stripe because it's straightforward. Um, however, when you sign up and you, you are a new seller using Stripe, you won't be able to get your money um, until two weeks, which is almost the same as PayPal. But the good thing is that after i think paypal does the same thing as well after you sold maybe like two to five orders after you've gotten orders or you sold consistently on your website for a while they change it to two days i think mine from my second order on the platform or maybe two or third order i'm not sure they've they've said that i'm going to be receiving my payments in two business days so which is good so the more you work on the website the more um, your chances of getting paid earlier. So if you're doing your shipping labels and you just launched using B Cartel, you need to have some um, cash at hand to ship your packages because the money that your customer paid you won't be getting to you until 14 working days. I hope you guys understand. So um, basically, that's that with payments and um, that. So what I did was to print out the packing slip just this just tells me what the customer ordered and i like to also put it in the person's package so the person knows what she ordered um just in case there's there's an issue or maybe so the next step the next thing i like to do is get um the items that i'm going to be using to ship so i'm going to show you so i got my laptop and what you want to do is go to um that sorry not dashboard you go to orders and you click orders and it's going to show you the order that you have available to ship um one thing i must tell you though is that you need to have pirate ship already incorporated onto your website to do that you go to accounts and then you scroll all the way down to apps and you browse apps and integration once you click this you're gonna see um so let, let me just show you so once you click that you're gonna see i think shipping and fulfillment so you want to click that and scroll down to pirate ship and follow the instructions to integrate it to your website so what that basically does is that it combines uh, it's you know so when you want to create shipping label all you have to just do is go to pirate ship or you do it directly from your dashboard but i am already used to um fulfilling the orders on pirate ship so what i would typically do is first of all print out my packing slip so this is you go to you click this three icon here and you click print packing slip so it's gonna um show my printer and you can choose the layout that you want i don't want it colored because i don't want to waste so i change it to black and white and then i print it and then i print 
it so it's coming out right now so this is my printer i use the epson epson um echo tank 2720 it's an amazing 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 um printer so i definitely recommend it although it could be pricey but it's definitely worth the money so this was put upside down so that's my shipping label i got this off amazon i have 100 of them here so i basically just take them so i've used the top parts previously so i just put the bottom part so you need to know how your printer prints um you know how your paper comes out from the printer so mine would typically come out like this so it prints from the bottom so yeah now that we have the packing slip so i have two drawers like this this is the first one so this is where i have mostly my lashes and lip glosses the other one i have my makeup stuff and my um shipping items so what you if you open this i have my drawer um the first one has my lash this is ada if you guys haven't purchased from us that's what it looks like this is okay these two are best sellers and you can see that this is almost sold out um this one is azara then so i like to just arrange them like this so when i'm counting them i'm just going through them i know how much i have left then here we have um pats this is pats and this one is what I usually will take this out for when I'm braiding my customers hair so they can see all the items I have available I also put like my four styles here the bangles that I sell the key rings that I sell as well and then these shrink wraps um, shrink bands for the lip glosses so what I will basically do is take this out to package my order and um, let me show you what the last drawer has so the last drawer has my lip gloss uh, making kit but what we basically need for here um thank you card which i'll put inside there and two business cards so this is what my business card looks like super cute so two of that and yeah for all of my beautiful customers these are our customized um epoxy pop sockets super cute so i'm gonna put that here as well and so this is where i have my packaging items so what she ordered she ordered um just two glosses so i'm gonna use this small shipping um bubble miller i have the big one for when people order like big items or the item or their other doesn't fit into this i'm having a feeling that the two glosses may not fit into this because of the thank you cards or anything but would find out so this is the big one this is six by ten six by ten and this is four by six i think and of course my organza bags this one i got i got everything off amazon so i'm gonna take this and the bubble miller i'm gonna put them aside i also like to put some pinky paper or shredded paper or whatever you call it so i'm gonna take this out as well i usually will put a fragile sticker but um yeah, I don't think that would be necessary for this order now. And when people order like for pickups, this is where I usually put their orders. Or when I'm done with my braiding services and somebody orders like one of my items, I usually will package it like this and put a ten piece sticker. So that's the organza bag. Put a ten piece sticker here. Um, another thing that we need for this order too is a ten piece sticker. So I'm gonna put that here as well. And get them. And of course, I'm gonna get my gloves. So, two of that. I'm just gonna use some hand sanitizer. Before putting on my gloves, my gloves. So, that's how we're looking like. Um, one thing I like to do first is to write my thank you notes thank you letter so her name is simon i hope this is working no. so yes and then some thank you stickers this i got off um i got this at target as well then crinkle paper or what is it called oh i i threw away with this thing so some crinkle paper this is the white one i got this at 
at um, Walmart. So the first thing I like to do is I'm going to get the order. So she ordered Pink Panther and so I'm going to go to where I put everything plus the pop socket. So I'm going to get that out. The business card. Put that there. So she ordered so Pink Panther and um, Clear Rose. This is what she ordered and i did go ahead to use protection seal on them and i've cleaned them i always clean them before putting it there so what i'll do first is get some so this is what i use for decoration anyways so i'm gonna put this inside right and i'm gonna take my pen and tick that i like to do is package our actual i don't think this thing will fit into this bubble mm -hmm. now but okay so i'm gonna put both of them inside like so okay so like so and i'm gonna go ahead and put thank you card my business card rather so just face them up and this is what it's looking like Next, I'm gonna throw this off, just making sure that I put the right thing rose gold and pink panther. So, that's that. On this side, I'm gonna put a thank you sticker. Like so. So, at this point, I'm gonna get my I'm going to get my shipping scale and I'm going to zero it out and make sure that it's in pounds, that it's showing pounds and no ounces. So you put this on top, 2.5, 2.6, you want to do it a couple of times. So I'm going to use the highest one which is 2.6, I don't know if you guys can see here. Yeah. 2.6 i'm gonna note that down because we're gonna need it for our next step so i'm going to go to pirate ship and sign in so you need to make sure that your pirate ship is already integrated as i showed you guys earlier on or you integrate it you just go to um, pirate ship create an account and integrate your big cartel store Okay, so what you want to do if you don't have it installed, you just go to settings and under settings, you're going to see integration. So here you're going to see integration and here you can connect a new site. So this, are, this was the previous site I was using Shopify and now I'm using Big Cartel. So that means it's already integrated. That's the second way to do it. Now I'm going to click import from, I'm going to go to ship and then I'm going to click import from Big Cartel and i'm going to select this because this is the order that will be shipping out today so i'm going to click get rates yep and i'm going to select the size so this is a poly mail i always make sure you change it to an envelope and the size is 10 by 10 by 6 so it's and then don't type here if you're going to type anything maybe zero this is where your consign is this is where you should put your your um your weight so i'm going to put what we had before which is 2.6 any added services if you're shipping out of the country this is what you probably need to click um save package if you want to save it for next time but i just like doing it manually so i don't make any mistakes and i'm going to click get rates it's going to show me how much it's going to cost to ship this to this address so this is what it's, it's bringing up which is fine so I think this is because it's far and then it tells you how much it will cost normally. It's going to cost 4.05 to ship this, but because of pirate ship, I don't know how they do it, but you get a discount of 
one dollar so which is not bad so the further the states away from you the further the higher the price of the shipping so if you're shipping within your location or the next state it's usually cheaper but since i'm shipping to a further state which is in california that's why it's this this high so um shipping dates i'm gonna put i'm gonna put 27 no let me put it today because i think yeah, i'm gonna put it as today doesn't really matter anyways today or the next day it's fine then i'm gonna click buy label so i just changed the card details and it, i'm gonna click i'm gonna close it i'm gonna click um so this is the tracking number you don't need to manually put it into the order anymore because it's automatically sync it as i'm going to show you guys in a bit so you're going to click print shipping label and i'm going to click print because i have a printer on already and i'm going to hit print so it's going to look like this is ready so i'm going to peel this off like so I don't like to cut it on this because the computer the printer knows the paper as a4 so it might give you issues when next you want to print and i'm going to go ahead and cut the excess paper so yeah and this is what it looks like ready to go so what i basically need to do now is drop this off at the post office and i'm not going to buy any label because we've bought the label already what you literally have to just do is go there and put it in the drop box and you're good to go or you hand it over to the um, person on decks and they would scan this in scan not you're not paying anything extra for this they will scan this in and give you your um invoice which is like well, which will have the tracking number even though you already have it on your system do you get but just so you you know you have it at hand um the next thing you need to do is just close you know you're done you don't need to send the tracking number to your customer because it's already integrated with your store so it's going to do that automatically now let me show you what i mean so once i go to once i go to my big cartel account and i go back to others and i click now you can see that it's no longer there it has gone to shift i don't know if you can see so it has gone to shift if it wasn't shipped it's going to show you what the order is just like it was at the beginning of this video i hope you guys found this video helpful please subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this if you have any questions let me know down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye